Welcome to Cutter Farms. We're back with another episode of UMRV Upper Mississippi River Valley and we have uh, been picking up the bales out here in this field that we've gotten done. Uh, I do need to hop out and get the baler and mower and stuff going on these other two fields. I think I decided I was going to do those all by hand with follow me with the baler. So we are going to be jumping over there and tackling that next field here. But before we do that, I wanted to get this load of hay bales over into our silo system. I want to make sure we keep producing that TMR with our production uh, chain. If we just take a quick look at it here, you can see we've got capacity to make more TMR and we're almost out of hay. And I wanna get a load of hay in there before we forget about it. I have a tendency to move on to new jobs as we're doing all of this stuff on the farm, especially this time of year when we've got so many different jobs moving. And we should be about done with our sunflower harvest as well now. So we'll have to check in on that in a few minutes here. But there's gonna be a lot going on on the farm today. We're one bale short of a full load it looks like, which is fine. We did better out in that field than I anticipated with the bales here so we're gonna be just uh, keeping on with all the jobs today I, if we're lucky if we're lucky I think we'll finish up a lot of the jobs that we've got on the farm today so first things first I'm gonna come in here and we're gonna try and unload right over next to the uh, hopper here and it's been a minute let me see transporting position and then if i push y once i can mouse this over here push y again uh, i know a lot of people have suggested i start using the loading wagons and honestly that that would probably be the play here it would probably work out a lot better for us they're just so uncommon in my experience uh at least in this part of the world i don't see a lot of uh, loading wagons out in the Midwest loading up hay like that, but maybe I'm just behind the times. I have found a number of times recently where uh, things that I wasn't used to seeing when I was farming back in the 90s are now much more uh, common and you see them uh, see them around. So let me know in the comments. I think maybe next season we may make the switch just to try and do something different. Um, I'm going to park this semi down the hill a little bit here because we've got our whole hang set up all ready to go. And this should be nice and out of the way. But before we start on that, I've noticed we've got a semi on the corner here. It was on an auto drive path to go back out to the field. So let me start that off, send him out there, get it done. And as long as I'm thinking about it, we'll check on our sunflower harvest here. We're almost done, folks. Just a, a couple of rounds left. Looking good. But that brings us to the fact that our uh, manure spreader ran out of digestate. So let me, let me see if I can find him. I think he's in the corner over here. So I'm going to bring the semi down to the headland. And we'll see if we can track him down here. I think he's just up ahead on this headland, though. Well, a quick glance around has shown me he got a lot further down the headland than I anticipated. We're working on uh, the, I think we've got two headland passes left uh, to tackle with the uh, slurry spreader here. And uh, we're on the third i don't remember but we're we're on the headland passes so hopefully this is going to be the last time that i have to fill this guy up before we're all done with this field i'm not sure about that though we'll see we'll see and just trying to get this thing backed straight in here i've turned too sharply i'm gonna to have to pull forward and get the kink out of the trailer here and man we've got enough to uh, unload not even a full time left so we have used almost a full trailer of digestate as uh, the uh, fields have gone on here we started with a full trailer at the beginning of harvest so it's about one semi load to do all of our existing fields which is kind of a good metric to know it means that uh, I'll have a better idea of how much I need to hang on to versus how much of that I can sell as we go through the next season although we did pick up an additional field 
and I don't think we've yet spread on our grass fields either. So there's just a lot of uh, different things moving here. We're going to have a lot more work to do. Uh, I'm going to pull this guy up off of the field. Not that the um, tractor is going to come back over here, but we might as well put it up by the road entrance. It's a little bit easier to find when I'm trying to find my equipment on the map to hop over to it rather than always tab into it if I leave it in a well-designated spot that it's like, oh yeah, it's gonna be by a field entrance. I know where that is, or I know what that is. And then if we just come out here and check, I think I just saw a message that our AI worker is done with this field. So I'm gonna turn the semi around here into uh, a better position to send him back off to the farm. And I should be able to fill him up here with the grain cart. It looks like our grain cart's all the way, already on its way to unload since it detected the semi getting pulled out onto the field. Uh, I was gonna hop into him, but first I wanna check on our combine. If he's done, did the grain cart empty all of the sunflowers out of the combine? It did, look at that, that's very convenient. So let me go ahead and just shut that down. We'll bring this back up to the yard and I'll just get him up to the driveway entrance here and then I can send him up to the yard with auto drive. And in the meantime, I'm really hoping that course play figures out how to unload our grain cart there. It's moving real slow. So I think I've got a cruise control set from when I was manually driving that thing. My guess is it's just driving the six, seven miles an hour that the combine speed is set at. I always forget that course play doesn't handle overriding the, the cruise control value. If you set one, it's only gonna drive that fast no matter what the other settings are set to. And of course, uh, because I left my truck in kind of an awkward spot, it looks like Courseplay decided to drive across the road and go into the ditch. Because why not? Well, we will send this guy back up to the farm and I guess jump over here and try and take over and fix this whole mess. And let's just get spun around here. We're going to go in cab while we're stuck in those trees, try to avoid all the hassle. We'll take this right around here and see if I can get us unloaded into this semi truck now. Pull right on up alongside. Let's see if I can navigate this thing. Oh, oh, we're way too far away. Look at that. That's uh, very deceiving. Well, would you look at that? We're not as uh, good at figuring out where we are as I was hoping in cab there. It is what it is. Let's uh, pull on up here now. There we are. We should hopefully be able to uh, get all of these beans unloaded. I don't see why not. This semi, not as big as uh, some of the semi trailers we've used, but it should definitely hold more than the five, six hundred bushels we had in the green cart here. Looks like we're going to get it all almost all in one hopper. We'll have to pull forward and put a little bit of it in the front hopper. That's fine. And let's go ahead and send this guy back up to the farm as well. Farm yard, go. And then the semi needs to get sent up to the bin site. So I'm going to change this to deliver uh, farm bin site. And I suppose I should navigate this around this stupid uh, telephone pole. It's right in the way of getting out of our driveway. You never know when something crazy is going to happen with that. Perfect. And as long as we're here, we do need to spread ourselves some lime on this field. So I might as well get this fired up. Uh, we are not quite full on lime. So before we do that, I might as well top it off. Fire up our semi here. And we're going to put this in hopper number three. Here it comes. All right. While that's filling up, we can generate our course. So back up here at the yard, we've got all of our equipment uh, coming into the farmyard. We're going to go ahead and see if I can just top off our fuel real quick. Uh, I'm not getting a fuel refill on this thing. I wonder if that other tractor's too close to me. Sometimes uh, you get multiple things into a trigger and they just uh, don't play nice. So we'll take a spin around once the rest of this equipment gets out of my way. And oh, it probably helps to actually select the combine. There it is. 
we're all filled up. Uh, I'm going to bring this thing over here to the back of the garage. We do need to get our equipment cleaned up here. So that's something else we're going to do before we put it all away for the year. But uh, maybe I'll just park it in here for now just to get it out of the way. We'll come back around and clean up some of this equipment uh, off camera most likely. I want to keep all the equipment moving here. And this thing does not detect this Kinsey grain cart. So we need to get this tractor moved out of the way before auto drive has a bigger conniption than it already is. There we are. I'm gonna take this all the way around and just pull this over into the shed that we usually store it in. I think we're all done harvesting for the season here. So it makes sense for us to just get this equipment uh, moved out back to where it belongs. Here we go, right into this shed. And if I'm not mistaken, I've been parking it in this back left corner. So let's see if I can pull that off. Get our view rotated around here. or zoomed out a little bit far. There we go. The trick here is always uh, getting it in the corner without putting it through the wall. There we go. That should do. Uh, I'm going to just drop it straight off. And let's go ahead and just pull this guy forward a bit so that I... No, it's not connected. Give us some room to get through. I like it. And then just because we've been doing so much other stuff, checking in on this guy, we're already going through tons of lime. But that's because this is a new field we just bought and the pH levels were kind of low here. I'm digging that. We'll keep an eye on it. And I think we're finally ready to get back to our grass work over here. So I'm going to fire up that tractor and then we're going to fire up this one. I need to remember what my um, commands are here. I'm going to pull forward just a bit here. I want to be able to uh, detect the vehicle. And then I think it's right shift F. Nope. Right control F should do it. And it has detected the other vehicle. So now I can come in here. And we'll get this guy going. I'll lay that down and of course right as we get going with this where other worker is stopping because it's empty that's fine swing nice and wide here trying to get set up on our rows I think our bailers following along here right yeah not too bad oh and I do this every time with uh, follow me it does not know that it needs to do a job unless you tell it to do a job. So let me stop this worker. We're going to swing around and pick up what we've missed already. And then we'll start it back off. My goodness. Here we go. It's on. It's lowered. And we're straddling the lanes. Get as much of this picked up as we can. Big wide turns. We missed some, of course. We oversteered. Wouldn't be doing it right if we didn't do it wrong. And we'll go ahead and get this guy set up. There it is. Don't run into the rake when you're trying to get back into the tractor. That would be a bad day, I'm sure. And we're finally off. I'm going to round this corner here real quick. And then I just want to make sure. Yep, the baler's doing its thing. All right. Here we go, folks. Let's see if we can knock this field out nice and quick.
there we go. We're all wrapped up with the bailing portion of this field. Might as well shut that down, fold it up. We're going to take this all back down to the other end of the field here, and then I need to get that uh, lime spreader moving again. We've got quite a bit of field to spread out there, and I don't want to have too much downtime on that equipment because I do need to get that switched over to start on our tillage on the cornfields next. So we gotta we got to keep everything moving here. Now well, the baler's going to lag behind me a little bit because I haven't tabbed back over there and turned off the baler itself. Well, that's okay. We're going to use that as an opportunity to come through this area and hopefully he'll pick all that up before he catches up and stops. We'll shut her down right here. And we're just going to bring the whole semi out here. We have found this to be the easiest way to keep everything moving. We should have more than enough to fill this up. Uh, it might be just a little bit too far away. Let's see if that gets close enough. There it is. So that's hopper three. We'll go to hopper four. Looks about full. We're going to put... Oh, we got a little bit out of the last hopper here that went in there. So I won't have enough to fill it up again, but we've got quite a bit in there. I'm going to put it on nearest waypoint, send him on his way, and we'll get this semi out of here. I'll bring it back up to the driveway entrance there, mostly because I don't know where we're going to end up with that spreader next. It is working its way across the field this way, so I figure if I put it down on this end, we'll be in a good spot. Um, I don't think we're going to finish. I think we're going to need to go get another load of lime. I'm half tempted to send this guy back up there right now to get the lime. Even though we've got two hoppers full. But we're not going to do it. We're going to just park him here and see how it goes. There we are. And we need to hop over here. i got to turn off this baler. Which means I'm going to have to stop the worker. Turn the baler off get him up there and then we're gonna do the same thing though and that is get behind our other tractor and have him follow and then we'll hop up here and get moving oh that's not my tractor that we hear it's the tractor behind me hopefully we got a good lock yep looks good so here we go one last little field to knock out with the bales and then we can set this all off on a worker here, hopefully. Always pays to make sure your follower can make the same turn you did. And I keep forgetting, we got this full thing of silage in this other trailer over here that we're going to have to deal with at some point. I suppose once we start moving time forward here, the cows are going to eat a bunch of food and we'll have some room to toss that in the main farm's uh, harvest store there and uh, get that moving. Uh, a bunch of people have suggested we plant some winter wheat uh, this year on the farm. I'm tempted to do that because we could use the straw in our TMR mix, at least if we're mixing manually. My automated TMR mixing doesn't do that. But we've got enough excess silage, hay, to uh, do some manual mixing. So we could make some loads with some straw. So if I did do a field of winter wheat we could take advantage of that and then i could always plant it in grass after the fact and or soybeans um so i'm thinking that through right now i don't know exactly what i want to do yet with that but we'll do something that it sounds fun let's hop over here i'm gonna turn the worker off turn the baler on and get ourselves lined up real quick second gear is not a lot with this tractor used to the eight speed over here i'm not quite lined up as good as i want to be we'll go right here looks like we've got a good lock just always the double check did i remember to actually lower it and not just turn it on i think i did it looks like it's bailing oh we're all over the place with this 4440 the steering wheel's a, a bit loose on this right now i don't have any force feedback as far as I can tell on my steering wheel at the moment. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, I'm still using the Thrustmaster uh, steering wheel here with the truck kit uh, setup. And 
it feels like there's just no force feedback on uh, any of my steering in farm sim right now. It looks like everything's working good with that baler though still. Uh, this setup is really, I think, uh, stuck with me here. I, I think this is one of our better setups that we've ever run for hay in farm sim. It just uh, super smooth to run the, the three swathers and then follow up with this rake that takes all three of those into a single windrow and hit it with the baler right behind. Um, no complaints at all. I think we've pretty well got this down for at least our UMRV farm here. Um, we're doing well. We're uh, keeping up with our animals finally, even with the enhanced animal system mod on here where our animals eat an astronomical amount of food, uh, which I guess is realistic, but you know, at some point you've got to balance that realism. But uh, yeah, we're doing good here, and I suppose I should watch where we're going as we get up to the corner. Don't want to be flying off of the field. We'll get this all taken care of, and then I think I think I see one row starting up here. We'll go ahead and get on the middle row there. And hopefully I can manage to find a path through all of this where we're turning around and we don't turn too sharp. Where Follow Me uh, misses a bunch on our end row. We'll find out. This is only a couple of passes with this big equipment to wrap up all of this hay. I'm looking forward to being done with grass work for the year. We've been doing a lot of it, that's for sure. And uh, I didn't have the recording going, but I, we just missed a message that AI worker Philip is blocked by an object. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, it must be our, uh, it must be our lime spreader got to the headlands and he can't handle the steep corners. That's probably what it is now that I think about it. Well, we'll have to go check on him in a minute, but we're gonna finish up this uh, field first because we're here and it's gonna be easier. I have found that if I lift up, I can just get over these bales with the outside wings without smacking into them, which is useful given that they're right in the middle of my headland. That's the only downside I would say to this whole setup is we end up with these headland bales that we have to navigate around, kind of obnoxious with this larger equipment. But it is what it is. We'll head right on back up this other row. We missed a little bit down there, but I think we'll have time to clean that up. And of course, our rows are gonna work out perfectly uh, with one more pass down to the end of the field there on my left. I like when things uh, work out, everything lines up, and we can get this done with, oh, no wasted effort. And just like we did before, I'm gonna lift up to avoid this bale. See if I can sneak right around here and slam it back down. Perfect, hopefully the baler can handle that. Our final pass here, we'll go for the rear view here, see if I can keep an eye on that baler as it tries to mimic our crazy driving behaviors. Yeah, looks like it's got it, no problem. Can't really tell if it's uh, missing any bits or not from back here. We have already started our way down the hill, but we'll just uh, have faith that it got it done. Um, looking at all this mess, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight through and then I'm going to circle around to my left and we'll pick up all of this in a, in a single swath here. So if we go like this, the baler should be able to follow me around. And then we come right through like so and pick this all up in a nice swath back towards the driveway, just like so just nipped into that uh, bale there unfortunately is what it is I'm gonna shut this down I'm driving across because we're going to uh, be starting this field next but I'm not gonna create a new course play course we're gonna go grab one off of the swather first I'm almost positive we left our courses on the swathers when we put them back in the shed because I knew we were going to need to copy it. So let's double check here. Let's hope 
that we've still got it. We do. That's the left course. Not that it matters. That's the right course. We could copy any of those, but I'm going to copy the center course because that's the one that I know we need. And here we are. We'll paste that in. Of course, it needed to be set anyway. And we're going to start at the first waypoint center. I don't know why it thinks it needs to fold up to do that. Uh, here, we're going to turn off the helper and we're going to do the same thing. Paste this in. First waypoint center. We'll get a little bit closer with this guy so that uh, hopefully he doesn't have to fold himself up here. And here we go. First waypoint center. Off you go. An hour and eight minutes. That's a lot of bales. Well, let's go ahead and get this driver fixed. Hopefully, once we get around this corner, we'll be able to rely on it to take the rest of the field. I think this is going to be the steepest of the corners. There we go. Nearest waypoint. Off you go. Oh, we're almost out, so we might as well hop out and bring the semi over here. Get that going. Because when we can send the semi back up to its town. I don't know why I folded that auger up when I knew we were going to need to empty the last bits of it here. We're on this side. We might as well put the auger on that side and get it unloaded. There's not going to be enough to finish for sure. So it's a good thing that we had the break when we did to bring this up here. Look at that. We're way too close. I guess I could just make this go back a bit. And I think this is all right. We need this to be field 21 instead of field 7, though. Let's go ahead now. I'm going to put this auger away. And we'll send this guy back up to town. All right, with all that hassle out of the way, just checking in on our baling setup. Looks like this is going well. I'm going to need to get down here, though, and get the bales off of the headland before uh, we start doing up down rows, or that could be a problem. This guy did get empty, though, so I want to make sure I keep all of these side jobs going. Like I said, I'm waiting for one of these big tractors to get freed up so that we can get it on tillage. Uh, so we're going to unload this first, and then we're going to grab that semi and start picking up bales. I'm going to get all the ones off the small field because we already parked the semi out there, and then we'll uh, hopefully get out here and get uh, into that big field before the headland bales start to become a problem. This is uh, my favorite time of year. I know I say it every episode, but there's so much going on. We're definitely not bored. And there we go. We have finally emptied the digestate out of this trailer. So we'll have to... I didn't hit that. We'll have to get this guy back up to the BGA now. Um, man, I don't know if this is still a good uh, auto drive point for the BGA, but we're going to try it. I don't want to have to drive him up there myself and I'm really gonna hope that this is enough to get me around the headlands but if it's not that's all right we'll we'll bring a semi back out here to top him off now we're on a bit of a timer so I need to get this guy moving uh, let's just make sure are we in operating position we are not now we are I think we may even have enough capacity. I might not unload the bales before we go out to the other field. If they have enough room, uh, we might just jump straight out there and start picking up headland bales just to make sure we get to him because, again, course play is only so useful and it does good until it doesn't. And when it messes up, it messes up big. And so it always makes me nervous when there's a situation that you know is going to cause a problem, like a bunch of bales on the headlands. And uh, if you can stay ahead of it, it's not going to be a big deal. But if you let it get it ahead of you, then, man, are you going to have a bad day? And we're blocked by an object. I don't know if AI and worker Andy is our dry fruit spreader or if it's the bale setup. But either way, we're failing already. Looks like we're going to be able to get all the bales off of the little field here and uh, not even be half full, which is perfect. Oh, there's a couple more back here that I didn't account for, but still we should come in uh, just a couple bales over half then it looks like. There's half, and I think I've got one more bale sitting down here that we're going to pick up on the way out. 
And there we've got them all. Let's go on and get out there to that big hay field and see what the situation is. Looks like our semi did find its way over here to the BJ. Everything's kind of backed up right now. We'll have to go straighten that all out in a second. And yep, there it is. We're just now starting to go down the headland with the rake there and it's raking over some of these bales. We've got to pick up our speed here and get caught up before we have any major issues. Gonna be running a little fast and loose here as we try to get ahead of this. I don't really want to pick up the ones out of the baler though so I gotta keep my distance from the baler itself. And here we go, we've got one behind. Oh, it's pushing it. Can I sneak up here? Be a bit of a daredevil. And now we're good to go. As long as I've got enough capacity to pick all of these up until we get to the end of the field, I think I'll be good until we uh, can unload and come back out here. It's the only time I'm worried is if I can't get to the corner here then we might have problems because it's just going to try and push all of these bales all the way down the field because it's trying to get down uh, to these short rows to start going on the up downs. It looks like we're going to do it though. We're only at 80%, uh, 78%. If I can pick up a few of these along this part of the headland, that just gives us lots more rows that we're going to be able to handle before we run into anything. So I think we're a golden now as long as I don't get distracted and we actually get back out here and start picking up the headland bales coming from the other side. We're going to be good to go now for quite some time. There's 40 bales, 41, 42, taking us all the way to the corner on this end. I like it. AI worker Sarah has stopped unexpectedly due to a full tank, which means uh, either I think that's probably our slurry spreader, and if I remember correctly, our dry spreader has been stopped for some time as well here. So we're going to try and get caught up on all this. We're going to take these bales and unload them first. And then we're going to jump over and get that digestate tanker refilling. So if I remember correctly, that takes a minute to get refilled. And then we will go deal with these two spreaders that need to get moving again. Um, let's see. Operating position off. Unloading position. All right. We'll shut this down there just so that I don't lose track of it. This semi is waiting patiently, but it's going to the wrong fill point. So we'll fire this up and we'll bring it around to the back side of the BGA real quick. I'm sure we've got more than enough uh, digestate to fill this up. The trick is just to get it backed in here without driving off this gigantic cliff that we've built for ourselves here. Uh, we didn't really intend to build a cliff, I guess. There's just no way for us to smooth that out any better, unfortunately. So here we go. If I just get this backed up alongside this pump, it's a pretty um easy fill point if i remember correctly uh oh we're way far away from it though it's pretty easy if you actually get yourself lined up in a good way i think usually what i do is i back past it like so get nice and uh lined up alongside the building and then i need to open these up and hit refill and there we go. See, this is going to take a minute, though. So I'm just going to let that go. We're going to jump in here, get this all straightened out. This is, I think, the only part of this setup that I'm still struggling with a lot is constantly having to navigate this spreader around these tight corners. I'm tempted to actually pick up the self-propelled dry spreader uh, for the farm because then it could be kind of self-contained here uh, and I wouldn't have to keep losing one of my core tractors to this job. Now we've only got about 10% left here. I know we're going to need more. Not a problem. The bailing's going off without a hitch now. This guy is empty as I expected and this guy got stuck so let's pull this in here. There we go. I'm gonna see while we're here, because he keeps getting stuck. I'm gonna see if I can pull 
some of these points over a bit. It can be kind of hard to edit these when you're in the building. There it is, and we should be able to rely on the auto drive to uh, fill this up though. So let's just double check that that's gonna happen. There we go, all right, perfect. I'm gonna change this to barn A since barn B seems full. And man, look at this digest aid. It's just uh, loading so slow. I'm just gonna hop over here and look, we've got a ton of it. Our slurry's topped off. Uh, so there's no problem. We're going to get through it. And our chaff and silage is still cranking through over here. And our hay, we're almost full up on hay in the main harvest store. We've got enough room to probably put one more semi-load in here. And then we'll have to start loading up the uh, bale shed. Uh, I'm trying to think. Do I let this guy finish filling up or do we just bring this out to the field and top off the manure spreader. I think we're going to take this out to the field, get that manure spreader going. So I'm going to go ahead and just start this guy off. Field 24, go. Don't want to have to deal with that myself. As you can see, it's a minute to drive out there. So the more you can let a uh, driver do that for you, the better off you are. And then we better hop back into this semi and get out there and pick up some more of those bales on the headlands before we have those problems that I keep talking about when you forget to finish doing the job that you set out to do. Uh, we've got a little bit of time, but not a lot. We're already starting to make our way up the row count here. So we need to jump in here and get these last few headland bales. Um, operating position there we go i wish there was like a little hud indicator for if i was in operating position or not on uh things like this i realize that the whole operating transport position thing is a function of auto load but man it'd be nice if there was a way to represent that on the hud without having to bring up the f1 menu looks like our manure tanker is out in field 24 now that's great. I'm going to go ahead and just take this down to the end of the field, though. We'll uh, actually just fill it up as long as we're doing this job. Uh, I'm not feeling too much pressure on our slurry spreading. We've got a lot more of it to do, but we've been keeping up with it, and I can continue to run the slurry spreading while we're working on tillage here. Really, that lime spreading is, for me, the big one that needs to get done sooner than later. So we'll keep trucking here. Um, I don't see us ever taking that tractor off of the slurry spreader. I think that uh, outside of after there's snow on the ground, we could pretty much keep that thing running year round with the way our grass fields and everything else line up with the seasonal cycles. We're just always spreading manure. And we've got all the bales out of the corner here. That looks pretty good. So what we'll do is we'll just... Uh, start on the outside row here and work our way down the field that way we're um, not creating any havoc for ourselves i think this is going to be the easiest thing to do we've got more than enough bales to fill up this semi-trailer here as well but now that i've got the headland bales off i'm not feeling any pressure on this field it's more about just uh doing the job to get it done get these bales up into the yard i think it's gonna be uh it's gonna be good from here We'll swing down here. I see a couple of bales, or I don't know why our baler's having to back up there. It looked a little bit awkward, probably because we only did the one headland pass. I think that was the thing that we kind of messed up on this field. We should have done two headland passes with the uh, mowers. That would have given us really six total passes, but uh, two rounds with all three of those would have given me two rounds with the rake, which is... Uh, more room to turn around i think it looks like our implements are having to back up a little bit to make these turns and that's inefficient for sure looks like we're not quite gonna be full by the time i catch up with these two so that's okay i was just hoping we'd uh, top off the bale trailer here when we got back to this end but i'm gonna be two bales short it looks like of a full load we might just run up with it anyway because we're in here. I think we will rather than monkeying around with it. I'm going to spend more time 
turning around and picking up two bales and coming back than if we just take this up to the farm while we're already driving it. It's one of those times where I think efficiency is actually uh, not going to match up with pushing things to capacity. Especially because we're right on that corner. It's so easy to zip out and up to the farm here. There we go. Just like that, we have another load going into the harvester. So with another load already into the harvester, I'm going to stop that. We're going to go out to get our manure spreader going. Just checking to see where it is this time. We are on the last pass and we're down in this corner, which means I could actually send this guy down to the back corner. Let him drive around the outside of the field here. Let me go the other way, though. See if he can figure that out. Bert. And then I've got the dry uh, stuff coming right back out here. The lime. I'm going to turn off Whoa. the auto drive. I didn't realize I had my steering wheel cranked there. So as soon as auto drive went off, our semi started careening towards the ditch. And then I think we're in the back corner of the field there, unfortunately. So we'll drive all the way around the field to get out to that tractor. Luckily, we've got nice dry ground out here, and this hasn't been a problem for us at all. Although, realistically, the compaction of driving this heavily loaded semi back here like this would probably, uh, probably be a bad thing. We'd probably drive the tractor up to the edge of the field, realistically. Let's go ahead and get our pipe off to the side here. There we go. Nice and easy. Man, I feel like I'm lined up over this thing. Oh, it always takes a minute to start going the first time. I got to remember I can see that green light on the back of the uh, wagon here, the semi-trailer. And that lets you know that it's actually transferring uh, material. It has found a hopper it can dump into and all that good stuff. I think this uh, Convey All trailer has been one of my favorite base game mods just because of that little light system on the back. I think actually having this many hoppers is inconvenient. Um, although there, I think I've seen mods and maybe it's part of the base game that lets you set how many hoppers there are. I don't know, I haven't paid that much attention to it, to be honest. Uh, but that would be nice if you could uh, maybe only set it to two or three hoppers, something like that, instead of having six of them. But either way, it has been one of my favorite base game mods because it's quite handy. Uh, and I like the visual indicator that's in-game, right? I don't have to have a menu up or something on my HUD to see it. It's, it's made as part of the equipment itself. And we've got this guy now going to town. Our hay equipment is moving and grooving. And our semi is in the back corner here, which we weren't quite as close to the back corner as I thought we were with the slurry spreader. This field is quite large. That's okay. We'll go ahead and jump in it here and go get this thing topped off and moving as well. We've only got the one headland pass left here uh, with this slurry spreader. So I think... Uh, filling it up this time is going to be the last time we need to do it in this field at least. I guess I could have refilled right there on the side. I'm so used to having to back up to it squarely. There's that and here is this. Let's go. Now I don't actually remember where we need to go next uh, with the slurry spreader. It's probably the sunflower field that we're working on right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drive this semi uh, back up to... Oh, I, am, I have an auto drive course around this field. Of course I do. So we're going to just send this back up to the BGA. And then we can finish topping it off. And then we'll take it wherever we need to go next. Since I don't know what that is off the top of my head. And that leaves us all freed up to do another round of bale gathering. Put this thing into an operating position and zip on out here to the field. Uh, we're now managing to finally keep up. Oh, I say that and then I notice we've got a bunch of bales in this little field over here. Uh, but I think we're at a point where I can keep up with the baler uh, while keeping these other jobs moving. Oops, we're going to go ahead and see if I can get all of the bales in this small field 
picked up real quick and then we'll grab some more out of the big field to top us off because there won't be enough out here to fill a semi i don't think this field is not that big i have to say uh i've really enjoyed since we upgraded to the semi with the tr big trailer here uh it is such a smooth drive uh doing this auto bail loading i know it's not necessarily super realistic but i am i get no joy out of loading bales with a, a front loader type attachment and i know that's why so many of you keep suggesting i should just bite the bullet and move to the loading wagons because then um it's more realistic than just driving around and having bales pop onto a trailer and it would probably cut down my lag a little bit we do notice a small uh, frame rate drop when we get you know a hundred bales or so sitting around on the map here all right so i've got all these bales loaded up and i'm just remembering somebody suggested in the comments that i could just drop the bales onto the trailer and drive through the zone and i don't know if i've tried that since we moved to this semi-trailer uh, set up so I'm gonna try that real quick just to see if the bail trigger is tall enough that that's gonna work for us because I do think that might be a better play let's see I want to go to transporting position I'm gonna put them there and then if I push Y it should drop them right onto the semi-trailer uh, it doesn't seem to be taking them so I'm going to load them all back up here and then we're going to back up and do this. this. The way this zone is set up, it's really low to the ground, unfortunately. So we'll just have to deal with this manually. The only reason it gets the whole piles when we're doing it like this is because it's picking up the bottom ones and then the top ones fall down. Oh, we just dropped all these off and they're not going in. And I believe that's because our harvest store might be all full. That is the case. Look at that. We're full up on hay, silage, and almost chaff. But we are making TMR. So that just means we need to keep the time moving forward. Uh, but I don't want to leave these all sitting here like this. So I'm going to push O or no, uh, B. Ha. B, we're going to load them all back up. And... We'll get this moved out of here. Uh, we'll put, uh, I'll leave them on the trailer. Uh, we'll put them in there when we need them in a little bit here, but no sense in putting them back into storage just yet because I know I'm gonna start moving the clock forward soon and then I'll have a load all ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna put this right over here though, next to our extra load of silage that we've got. See if I can, whoa. Put this thing into the ditch apparently i was gonna say see if i can get it on the outside there but it's a little bit risky we've got that wheel issue happening again um it's weird as it doesn't happen all the time and it's not like our truck is that dirty i don't know what's going on but yeah right over here should be out of our way we're gonna shut that down and then we were intending to come over here and fill this guy up at the BGA so I'm gonna get that all set up again and then we'll check in on our uh, lime spreader and our slurry spreader we should be about done with both of those jobs uh, the only thing that I'm a little bit concerned about now is uh, with my bale trailer out of action that means I'm not picking up the bales on the field I guess that's not a problem we will need to um, get those bales picked up eventually but I don't need to do anything out in that field right away Eventually, I suppose I'll need to get the manure spreader out there, but that's okay. We'll uh, we'll get them picked up before then. I've got a lot of other fields that I need to hit with that manure spreader before then. Uh, we did get stuck again on the corner again. At least we're on to the headland pass now. Although there's a big spot missing in my corner here. That's okay. I should be able to finish with a half a tank here on the headlands. If he can uh, figure out what he's doing with this corner. The last time I had this problem happen, I found that it helped to drop my speed down here until he figured it out. That does not appear to be the correct speed. It's not auto drive that's doing this. It is a uh, course play. So let's drop this one down here for a second. Give him a chance to balance out. There he's balanced out, going straight without any oscillation. 
We'll up the speed a bit and he's good to go. We'll up the speed the rest of the way. And it looks like we're all done up here with the manure spreader. So I'm gonna close out of our course play course. We'll get him uh, backed out here. Uh, man, we need to take a look at the map. We just look at our nitrogen levels. These fields we spread on. Uh, I gotta hit the grass fields, and man, this uh, sunflower field is a disaster. I guess we'll start with the sunflower field, and then uh, I can do tillage on all these fields that have the manure and stuff spread on them. I think that's gonna be the play. Then I can go around and do the grass ones while the workers are doing other things, since uh, some of the grass ones are pretty small. Sometimes it's easier to manually run those. Uh, but I think we've about got the bulk of our fall work done here. So I'm going to send him on his way. We'll catch up with him in a little bit. And I'm hoping that that dry spreader at least gets up here to where the semi is before he runs out again. We'll have enough to finish this field off. And that just leaves us with topping off the semi and waiting for the rest of our bales to get done and moving them off the field. I think this has been a very successful episode of umrv and next time we'll wrap up the last of our hay work get going on our fall tillage and finish spreading all of this uh, digestate on the rest of our fields hopefully you've enjoyed the episode if you have hit that like button that's all for today Ketterk out